Y'all, sparrow me the puns with this deck. Ha! Woo! Nailed it with that intro. Uh, but, yeah. Today we're talking about pirates. Uh, what do pirates like to do? They like to deal combat damage to people. They like to steal your shit. They like to do all the things that pirates like to do. So, today we're talking about Admiral Beckett Brass. But before we start talking about this commander and this commander deck, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, while you're down there, comment down below your favorite commander, and I might go ahead and make it a commander deck. I have like three that I'm making right now, so three are gonna come out every week, every other week. And some might, some weeks might have four. Some might be random other stuff. You never know. Just slap that bell icon, and if if you do, you might get to see a lot of wacky, crazy things happen. So, Admiral Beckett Barras is all about if pirates dealt combat damage to a player then you get to gain control of target non they permanent uh, control by that player um uh, yeah words are hard also other pirates you control get plus one plus one so we're gonna do a lot of that stuff but that just adds more synergy because pirates pirates are actually really fun nobody actually informed me that pirates were this fun to play because i thought ninjas were fun pirates are a lot more fun it's like literally all about getting treasures stealing your opponent stuff i mean uh, I mean, I think Marchesa is like the only non-pirate, I think, besides like clone spells where the, there's a, there's a clone, there's a kind of clone spell around here. Uh, I don't remember, I can't find it, but I think Marchesa is like one of the only non-pirates in this, but it's other creatures you control have dethroned, and whenever creature you control with one one counter on it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control, beginning of the next end step. Which is pretty dang cool, meaning your pirates don't won't die. Because unlike the uh, the One Piece's real deck, which is all about getting a crew of legendary creatures, this is getting an actual crew crew. And Admiral Beckett Brass is your it's the Admiral. It's Pirate Admiral. Um, you're also getting a lot of things, being able to steal off of other people's stuff, like Revel and Riches, whenever a creature in opponent controls dies, create a treasure, and at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more treasures, you win the game, which is pretty dang good, especially because a lot of your other cards are giving you more and more treasures, like Dockside Extortionist. Uh, we have stuff like Ristic Study, so you steal a card every time somebody plays a spell, which is pretty dang good. Also stuff like Shiny, um, Impetus, or whatever, gives you more treasures whenever they attack, um, Oh, it's a plus two, plus two, and go to. Uh, also, all about getting out more of your stuff, like Molten Echoes. And where's the... I thought I added another one to wherever you played something. Well, organized nice, um, production also. You slap that on a treasure, and then once you have eight or more treasures, with, well, the same name, so treasures, you win the game. It's pretty dang good, because you're going to be creating a few treasures, and people are also going to have to spend mana to get rid of your treasures like who's gonna do that that's stuff like curse of opulence to get you more to, to get you gold um which you can then sacrifice with stuff is right well there's just treasures it's treasures um covered in darkness it makes your stuff basically unblockable because uh can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or black creatures i mean black is one of the most common uh colors in commander but it doesn't really matter because i mean you would just not attack the black player um, Aqueous form, obviously, to give it unblockable, but we don't care about the lands, except for, like, we want Access Tunnel and we want Rogue's Passage because we want to deal unblockable damage so we can steal this shit. Also, we have stuff like Blatant Thievery, a, a card that most people would never run because it costs 7 mana. But being able to gain control of a permanent that player controls is pretty dang good, especially when you just want to steal everybody's stuff. Also, bribery, being able to search your opponent's library for a creature card, put it on the battlefield under your control, then that player shuffles his your library, which is really good, except if you're playing online, because obviously it gets really complicated being able to own other people's stuff. A teleportal gives stuff unblockable, uh, open into wonder gives stuff that can be blocked, and whenever this creature does combat damage from player, draw a card. I mean, insurrection, untap all creatures and gain control of them until end of turn, they gain haste until end of turn. So you could just permanently steal control of other people's stuff uh, after you swing out with them. And it's a really good way to just end the game. Uh, I just think that this deck seems really fun to play. I actually really want to play this. Uh, I, I might want to proxy this out at some point and let you guys know how good it is. Because this actually seems really fun. It's all about unblockable stuff, getting control of things, making treasures. It's pirates being pirates. And who doesn't love pirates? So... 
I'll get back to you guys on this deck because I'm probably gonna well once I get my printer set up because I need to do that before but if you guys liked the video and because I, I tried to show you guys all the cards so if you wanted to pause it at any point you can look through the deck make it whatever if you don't know what a card does then look it up <laughs> but uh if you guys like the video make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite commander because i'll let you guys be basically well, after that so deuces